All right, we're getting to the end of this mini-series. We created our Next.js app. We added Clerk inside of our Next.js app, created an account, hooked it up. We created our custom sign-in and sign-up pages. And now in this video, we're going to access the user and the session data for the logged-in user using helper functions and hooks from Clerk. Assuming that you're using the app router, you can use the auth or the current user function to access the auth state or the authenticated user ID as an example, inside of a server component, you can use auth now in the newer versions of Clerk following the new request API from Next.js that's now asynchronous. This auth is also asynchronous, so you need to use a wait. Now, if you need to access the actual user object from the backend API, you can use the current user function. This will be the same if you're accessing the user authentication inside your API endpoint or your route handlers. So again, you're using auth to get the user ID or the current user to get the actual user object. So let's implement this and then we're going to come back to also talk about client components. Now there's also the pages router section if you're using the pages router or the previous versions of Next.js. So have that in mind. So let's go inside of our application, inside of our homepage, I've added the auth function from Clerk Next.js server. I'm evading it, so I had to turn my home component into an async component to know whether or not the user is logged in. And I'm using the current user function to get the user. So I have the user ID from the first function, and the second one is just returning the user from where I can access the first name and last name. So just to see this in action inside of our component or application right now i'm not logged in so if i go ahead and log in i now have access to the user id first name and last name i've also created a client component from where i'm accessing the use auth and the use user so back in the documentation if you look at it going down to the client component you could use the use auth this is going to return the auth object or the user id you can decide whether or not the user is signed in and if you want to access the full user object, you can use the use user to similarly get the actual user object to access more detailed information. So that's what I'm doing here. User ID from the use auth and then the whole user object that gives me the first name and last name from the use user hook. And again, if I inside my app, if I go to the client page, I can see that I have this information there too. Now in the next video, we're going to talk about the auth middleware from Clerk and how you can access the session data there and actually protect your routes inside the middleware before even hitting or before sending the request back. So stay tuned for that.